Hi, this is Chester Chen, Senior Product Manager here in Sumitomo. And this is Bar Holmes, our R&D Specialist te Technician. Uh, in this video, we are going to show you the process of reversing the integral backstop that sometimes comes with the Cyclo products, such as Cyclo, Cyclo BBB, Cyclo HBB. Uh, the type of integral backstop that we use is the centrifugal lift of type. The reversal process is very easy, and once again, in this process, uh, we will show you step by step how the, this can be easily accomplished. All right, first, let's take a look at the tools that you need to perform this operation. Before you start uh, removing the backstop, the first thing you have to do, if you're in the field, you have to remove the motor. To, and what you see in front of you uh, is Barb removing the nuts uh, to the double-ended uh, th threaded studs. Removing those nuts will allow you to remove the C-phase adapter, which will be in the way before you can uh, get your hands onto the the, the coupling and the backstop. So the first, first thing to do is to remove the C-face adapter. And to remove is very easy. Just take a uh, regular wrench and remove the nuts. Uh, there's six of them. Once they're all removed, you can slide the whole C-face adapter outward. Just like so. The first step is to remove the motor and the motor adapter to expose the backstop. So on the top, Bart is going to uh, rotate the shaft, and as you can see, it, is, it can only go one direction. In our case, it is rotating counterclockwise. So here is the, uh, the first disassembly. He's removed the half of the shaft coupling then remove the key from the shaft. Use the retaining ring plier to open up the retaining ring and then use the screw driver or small pry bar to help you lift it up and, and separate it from the shaft. Next, we will remove the bolt and washer. When the bolts are loosened, you can lift up the cover and the seal together. After that, we will have to remove the, the collar. And please note that the collar is directional. So remember which way it is facing upward. The backstop has two extra holes, uh, which you can use as a, as a jack and bolt holes to help disengage the backstop from its current mounting position. Once the backstop is disengaged, uh, the two small pry bars could be used to lift up the backstop. However, in the event that uh, the inner ring and the outer ring accidentally got separated, we'll show you how we can put them back together. To put back the inner ring inside of the outer ring, the sprags are fully extended. Uh, which prevents the inner ring from getting into the outer ring in the bore. So what we need to do is tuck them in. And the way to do that is very easy. We're using the tie wrap uh, to tuck all the uh, sprags into the inner ring. So as you turn the sprag, tuck them in, you can also tighten in your tie wrap. All right, all that is just to help you push the inner ring assembly back into the backstop outer ring. Next, we use the scotch brite and rag to clean the shaft. Uh, make sure this area is free of any debris, uh, any min metal, metallic objects or shavings before you put the backstop back. Note that the backstop, uh, one side of it has uh, etched numbers, part numbers. And so when you reverse it, it will be uh, you can easily see which side you need to be facing up. Once you have uh, reversed the or flipped the backstop assembly, try to handle the backstop inner ring, outer ring 
uh, as one piece. The outer ring is all the way to the bottom, but the inner ring needs to be pushed all the way to the bottom as well. Use press if you have a press. Uh, if you are in the field, you can use that special jig or a small tubing to lightly tap it down. Next thing we have to push back is the, uh, the color, the special color. As I mentioned before, the color is directional, so make sure it is facing the correct orientation. After the installation of the color, you ought to see the groove where the retaining ring will be installed. Put the snap ring back using the snap ring plier and push all the way in. Then the cover and the seal assembly goes back. Then we will tighten the bolts and washers. Try to do this in a uh, star pattern to put it back evenly. And finally, use the uh, torque wrench to tighten the torque, the bow torque down uh, according to the table show. After the, the bolts are torqued properly, the last thing we would do is put the key back and the coupling back to the shaft. One last step is to verify that uh, the orientation or shaft rotating direction is correct. Uh, you should freewheel in one direction only, and that direction should be the opposite of how we started it. So this is the overall uh, reversal process of the integral backstop.